The premise of the show, it's basically about a group of people who live under this wonderful apartment building. Um, they come from different backgrounds, different, um, uh, how should I say it? Uh, it's, it's a very ethnic show. Um, there are so many different characters, um, you know, I, I play a young um, law student who has an internship, I've got a lot going on, um, a lot of the characters in the show, they have, they're overwhelmed with the responsibility and just whatever they're dealing with in the moment, um, it's just an amazing thing to be a part of. You get to see a bunch of people who have a lot of heart. Um, and that's what I think the root of the show is, is um, each character has something to bring as far as who they are, where they come from, and it just so happens all the storylines kind of intertwine. And um, if it gets to series, <laughs> that's, you know, we'll get to see the, how they all intertwine and come together. I play Gabe. Um, he is a law student. He's working at an internship at a law firm. He is a very sensitive, good-hearted guy. Um, he definitely loves his grandfather. He's got a great relationship with him. Um, his grandfather asked if he could move in with him in the first episode, and I don't know if Gabe is necessarily ready for that because he has his girlfriend and he's just overwhelmed between school and the internship. Um, so he's kind of figuring out his place in the world and what he wants out of life and he's trying to stay focused but with you know the grandfather wanting to move in he's got that not I wouldn't say burden but that obstacle as well. My grandfather definitely keeps me on my toes and he, he's sharp as a tack. I mean, he, he's older than I am, but he's, he's got a youthfulness about him that's very apparent. Um, and I think that's why they get along so well, because they can actually, you know, have great conversations and relate to each other, even though the age gap is enormous. Even though all the characters, we don't come from the same backgrounds or, um, yeah, we don't come from any of the same backgrounds, but we just happen to live under this one building. And it seems that at night we would, you know, go up on the rooftop and maybe talk about our days and talk about what we're going through. And we kind of lean on each other for support. Um, and that's what makes, I think, the show and the cast so amazing because everybody has something positive to bring to the table. Well, I think this show is so relatable because each character has their own struggle and their own avenue that they're kind of trying to experience and work out and navigate. And like I said before, being under this one roof, we all kind of lean on each other for support. And the one thing that I can say is uh, the reason why I love the script, it wasn't necessarily for Gabe's character, it was the whole picture. Everybody's got so much depth and heart and just, um, they're relatable. You can, I think anybody can sit at home and relate to any character in the show. My personal connection to the script was, I think, just the, the how everybody, their storylines were intertwined and just the, the heart of it all. And I mean, I'm a very passionate person. It seems like each character in the script is, has a lot of passion, a lot of heart, um, and they have a willingness to never give up. And that's kind of an inspiring thing to read. And you want to be a part of something like that. I think I want the audience to have the feeling of that everything is relatable just because you see us on TV. It's not, you know, don't glamorize us or anything. I mean, we're, we're human beings just like you are. And I think that's why the story is so telling because it's so relatable with, with everybody. The one thing that really drew me to the script was obviously the writing. And when I first met Mike in my audition, we had a quick conversation and his passion and his perseverance to get it made and done was something that I wanted to be a part of and to be a part of something like this, it's, it's a dream come true. And 
like I said before, he's got so much heart and he wants to tell real stories and relatable stories and I think that's why the script turned out the way that it did. I believe everyone will relate to the show because of the, uh, the, 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 the very, very interesting relationships that are, that are occurring. I think they're going to relate to the show because they're going to feel people's, people's pain and people's pleasure. They're going to laugh and they're going to cry. I really believe that. Uh, and I think that's going to make the show very appealing. My character was, wants to escape, really, quote, quote, escape from the nursing home environment because he knows that it's not life-giving in a sense. You have no autonomy, he doesn't want it. I think they have to realize that uh, pain, pleasure, and life knows no uh, economic class, race, gender, religion, sexual orientation, and that we all are in the same boat, the same village. And I think that's going to give people uh, uh, internationally, wherever the show is shown, a sense of, uh, another sense of how beautiful uh, the humankind is if we just open ourselves up and just, you know, share and, and think about what love means to, e to each person. The idea of the, the apartment building, the village, is very exciting to me. It's, it's just teeming with uh, humanity. I like that. I like that. Writing to me is the most important thing. I think it's very important. And, and I have a feeling that, that Mike uh, knows where I'm coming from as an actor. Uh, I worked with another writer years ago, and uh, his grandfather was a stonemason, and my grandfather was a stonemason. And he was telling me about the episodes, and he may not be able to use me in too many episodes. I said, listen, you are the architect. To me, the writer is the architect and the actors are stones to build the edifice. And, and I think Mike Daniels understands that. This show is about a group of neighbors living in the same building who um, all, they function as a family as much as any family unit that you can conceive of. Um, you know, they always say that you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. and. That can work in a positive and a negative way, but in this way, it's very positive because everyone has come together. And in a way, it's true that they didn't choose each other either because when people come into a community, into a building, they come from different places, but they mold together very well. And I think that it is the, um, I think it is the um, objective of this whole building to make sure that everyone is engaged, that everyone is loving and caring and sharing. This show is about uh, a group of people living together, growing together, laughing, crying, living together. Ron is every man. He represents, Ron represents, he is the heart and soul of, I, of what I believe to be this village and the fact that everyone knows that he, first of all, he's the super of the building. So everyone knows that they can come to him. He's kind, he's passionate, he's compassionate, he's loving and caring. And uh, it's a great character for me because that's the way that I've always pictured myself. It's the way that I always, it's the way that I was brought up to be that type of person. And so for me, Ron is just that guy who is non-judgmental, you know, but yet he's firm when need to be in judging what he needs to judge, if that makes any sense. And um, it's, he's a delight. He's a delight. He was an easy, easy fit. He was an easy shoe for me to slip into because I didn't have to move too far away from who I actually am to find this character, Ron. And I love him to pieces. He's a great guy. Ron loves Patricia, his wife, a 30-year relationship, and uh, together they are the mama and papa of this, of this building. I mean, they're the, 
they're the ones who are a little older. They're not the oldest, but they're a little older. And they are the glue. They are the thing that holds everything together in this building. So if anyone who has a problem or a concern, they will come to Ron or they'll come to Patricia. And either way, or they'll come to them together. In either way, everything will be, they'll, they'll go away feeling a lot better. Well, the familiar connection between the characters in this show um, are very visible in, in every way uh, because you have young people who are coming of age, going out into the world. You have people who've been to war and have come and have come, landed here for some reason or another. You have, um, you have people who are here sort of illegally unbeknownst to them, but they are here illegally. You have law enforcement. You have all these branches, and they represent, as far as I'm concerned, a true family. When you turn on this show, you, you will see a very much an accurate depiction of our times and events of the day and of, of, of our lives. I don't believe that anyone can view this show and not be able to jump into it and say, oh yeah, oh yeah, I know, oh yeah, I know that, oh yeah, and then, or cry about it. Oh yes, I know that. You know, it's, you rejoice and you cry. It's every day, it's everything. It's, it's, it, you don't have to go far. You don't have to look way over there to find these characters and the relationships and how it applies to you in your everyday life. And I think people like to see their stories. They like to see that, that there are other people who have the same kind of concerns and, 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 and the same kind, they rejoice in the same kind of fashion that, um, that, they, that we do in this show. I would like for the audience to feel at the end of this pilot that uh, they've been introduced to some people whose life stories they would like to get to know better. Mike uh, is a very accomplished writer and uh, his accomplishments even surpass my knowledge, you know, because I'm, you know, I don't know everything. <laughs> I know some things, but um, the thing that I do know is that having even before I met Mike, speaking to him on the phone, he exuded a warmth, a kindness, a gentleness, an excitement that got me very excited. The Village follows the story of a collection of people whom all live in the same building and face problems that aren't abnormal and they all come together at the end of the day and it kind of, the idea is it takes a village to overcome each problem and get through each problem. The neighbors aren't related, most of them, and we still have a family bond. Katie is the most realistic teenager I've read in a script. Um, because she isn't fake. Um, she has, she goes through all of the same phases that a teenager goes through and she talks back and she gets sassy but it's all very real because it comes, it stems from an emotional place. Every character has so many waves of different things going on in their life that I think it'd be harder to find something not to relate to than the other, the alternative. Um, and they're all real life problems. A lot of the times you watch a TV show and you see something that you just can't relate to but you're interested in anyways. And Mike, the writer, finds a way to write about relatable problems and keep you interested and keeps you tagged along the entire time. What I really love about the project is it's not an A to B uh, plot line. You're not trying to get somewhere. You're just following along with the characters and you're living life with them. And 
you root for them and and you cry for them and it's it's really magical working with mike is amazing because he really believes in the work and he really believes in each character and bringing them to life and working with the actor to to create the most realistic and relatable and loving and but dynamic characters for everyone and he cares about everyone and everyone's characters so much and you don't find that I think this show is big on family because um, it's not just uh, relational casualties, right? It's actually people who care about each other, um, who help each other out through obstacles and these issues. Um, and I know oftentimes life teaches us to make it our own, right? A lone ranger, this lone wolf type of attitude, but um, you come to find out that you can't do that by yourself. And with the help of each other, no matter your race, creed, background, occupation, we're there for each other to get through those obstacles and issues. Um, which I think can, can help our audience. It's sort of a mirror, right? It, it sort of teaches us how to live, so to speak. Um, it's okay to lean on, lean on someone else for support. Um, if you often, you often find out is that it's what's really needed. So I think the show really, really capitalizes on things like that. At the end of this pilot, it'll give our audience hope. A group of people, uh, a village, um, and I go back to this old saying, it takes a village to raise a child, and it's sort of that type of thing, right? It, it takes a group of us to help help one each one, you know, help one teach one, you know what I mean? It, uh, it's, it's no person left behind type of thing, right? Um, and it shows just, it's simply hope at the end of the day. There's always a chance. Every day you wake up, there's always a chance. And, and every person is, in this story uh, helps someone overcome an obstacle, even while they're going through one themselves. My character's name is Ben. Uh, ben just basically is all heart, uh, in a sense. Uh, but because of a major loss, um, he kind of overcompensates and, and wants to... It's hard because he's trying to have this self-forgiveness thing, right? And um, right now it's tough for him to have. Uh, he suffered this loss on his watch, so it's tough for him right now. And um, it's kind of a chink in his armor right now, but he's all heart at the end of the day. Ben here is, is all heart, and he's a good guy. I think he's charismatic. I think he's just a, a person who wants to fix things, um, always has his hands in, in things and trying to help in that regard. The show written by Mike Daniels is great because it's such a, uh, it's a mirror to society, right? You have this apartment complex, which could, which could be America in a sense, because you have different race, different creeds, different backgrounds, different just people in general from all walks of life, right? And they all have these issues or obstacles that they have to face. And with the help of each other, uh, we're able to overcome those things, right? So I think it's just a mirror to society. Even if we don't do those things, maybe we can inspire to do those things, to help each other out in a time of need, as opposed to becoming so closed off, maybe saying, hey, I welcome help. What attracted me to the script was just the authenticity and, and just the, the, the love and the, the need it had and the sense of camaraderie, um, family, um, just being there for each other, right? And everybody had sort of a music to them, their own per personal music to them. Um, so that right there was a no-brainer. It wasn't your typical, you know, just a bunch of language. Um, there was a lot that's not being said on top of what is. And so it's nuanced beautifully in that way. I think the audience is going to feel that there's hope there, right? That there's faith, that there's hope that it will get better. As long as you have a chance to wake up, things can get better. And I think the, the pilot does it, the script itself and the characters themselves do a great job at that. The premise of our show is uh, it follows the lives of the residents in an apartment building in New York City. And uh, it's about how their lives interact, how they are 
um, related, how they become family, how they uh, take care of each other. And basically, that life, especially in this city, is just easier when you've got people who've got your back. And we've got each other's back in this building. I'm very clear, you don't have to be related to be family. In fact, I have relatives in my life and I have family in my life. And occasionally one or two of my relatives have made it to the status of family. Relatives, you, you have no choice. You, have the, you are related by blood, but family you choose. I play Patricia. And I would say she's the matriarch of the building. I mean, matriarch sounds so old, but, um, but she is the, the maternal presence. She's the caregiver, the caretaker. And, and through the course of the show, you will have the opportunity to see how she reacts to being taken care of because um, she's got some medical issues that are going to surface in the pilot. And um, she's going to be dealing with the, some heavy-duty stuff through the course of the show. And uh, we will watch how this community rallies around her as she continues to rally around the members of this community. This kind of show really speaks to the best of us. And the, it, I think it's even more important now to show how we work together how we support each other across lines of race and, and ethnicity and religion and um, uh, special needs. And we pretty much cover the, the, the gamut here. You know, we, we're dealing with immigration issues. We're dealing with issues of sexuality. We're dealing with teen pregnancy. We're dealing with um, uh, cancer. We're dealing with, you know, you, oftentimes you're living in a building and you have no idea who is living next to you or under you or above you and the the challenges they are they are dealing with and so you kind of just crawl inside of this world and see the the best of humanity the writing drew me to this project and the humanity of it drew me to this project i i've done a lot of shows uh, where i'm you know i'm 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 cutting people in half or i'm i'm <laughs> i'm decapitating people or um, this one was really close to home because it's it's right in lorraine's wheelhouse i i I believe in the best of us. I believe that we are noble and we mean to do good and we are kind and we are generous and we are supportive as human beings. Because so much of the news is, is speaking to the, 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 the worst of us. I want this show to speak to the best of us. Writing and casting, it makes a great show. Um, I think, fingers crossed, we may have all of those elements here because the writing is terrific, the cast is lovely, the timing of this show couldn't be any better. Um, we need this show and um, I think I think it's just a touch of magic and uh, I'm already feeling that magic. Working with Mike is, is lovely. He really is collaborative. He listens, I feel heard, he makes adjustments, he, um, he believes in the core and the heart of this show. He wrote this show because he wants to be part of the solution. And so it's a joy to work with him because, I don't know, he's talented and smart and kind. Kindness is a, is an, is a great attribute these days. The Village is about a cast of characters, people that come from different backgrounds, different places, different races, different ages, have different beliefs, and they all are living under one roof in an apartment complex in New York City. And they've created such strong bonds and relationships that they've kind of become a family. I feel like in life, we're looking for people that we can connect with. And, you know, 
the truth of it is we may not get along with our family and we may need to find those people elsewhere and that's the beautiful thing about it because you can be sort of surprised by the people that you meet um, that become like mother figure to you maybe you didn't have that in your life or maybe you did have that in your life but now you have another mother figure in your life or a fatherly figure or a sister or a brother all of those relationships are so important and I think it's pretty powerful that in life we do get to choose. I would want you to know that this show is about people showing up and being there and lifting each other up, holding hands and helping you put your best face forward and living the life that you were meant to live. I play Sarah Coleman. She's a single mom. She's strong, she's smart, she's determined. She's fiercely supportive of her teenage daughter that she herself had as a teenager. She was thrust into adulthood at a young age and had to take on arguably the greatest challenge in life, which is parenthood. And she did it with all of herself and she has a lot of pride over that, but it's tough, it's hard work. Sarah and Katie are definitely at a pivotal moment in, in their relationship. They've been the best of friends in life, thick as thieves, but Katie's evolving, she's changing, she's becoming a young woman, she's about to spread her wings and fly, and I think some of her choices are really taking Sarah off guard. I think she's, she feels like she's sort of being, it's sort of coming out of left field and she's surprised by suddenly Katie's getting suspended or, you know, getting in trouble at school. This show is so relatable because everybody's going through something. You get on the subway and you look at that cart full of people and everybody has their own problems. You know, everybody has their own joys in life. Everybody's celebrating and everybody's mourning and that's life. That's really the game of life. And so I think what's so special about this show is we get this little peek into the window of this apartment building. Who lives there and what's their story? And then the person that shares the wall with that person, what's their story? And you see how we really are all so connected and we actually are all very much alike. Even though we come from different places and we come from, you know, different belief systems, we have so much in common. <laughs> I love this script so much because personally I'm just, I'm drawn to the nuances of, you know, human relationships and, and the dynamics that we create in life with different people and I love shows like Parenthood. I love shows like Friday Night Lights and um, because they really kind of delve into, into the complicated relationships that we create over time. Yeah. I felt a personal connection to this because I saw a woman who would do anything for her daughter and finds herself in a really tough position of wanting to be there to support her daughter. Um, but also having some pretty strong feelings about the choices her daughter should make, but knowing she has to step back and she's not in charge of those choices anymore. I think what makes a great show is character development. What's so special about The Village is that each character has something pretty big happening in their lives right now as we start the show. And we're all pulled into each of these unique individual stories. When I started the show, I was talking to someone and they said, everybody, it was, I believe it was Lucy, our costume designer. And she said, everybody that comes in here says, I got the best part. I got the best role on the show. And that tells you how good this show is that everybody feels like they scored the best role. You know, everybody want, can't wait for every scene they get to play because everybody is so interesting and really, really carved out. 
Mike is incredibly talented. Uh, I've known him for 10 years. He is hands down the best writer I've ever worked with. He's so smart and, and he has the ability to write words that just flow right out. So I don't have to think about the lines that I'm saying, they're there. I don't have to change them because they're perfect. They're exactly everything. It's all that work is, is completely done for me. And then I can just work on how I feel in the scene. And it all just spills out when a writer is that good. And it's pretty incredible looking at what a diverse cast this is, you know, that he really was able to find those voices so perfectly. I'm most excited about pushing myself in this direction. Sarah has so much to offer. There's so many colors to her. She's funny. She's smart. She's loving. She can be tough, but she also can be very maternal and warm. She can be vulnerable and she can be awkward. I mean, she's everything. She's everything that anybody would want to play. It just, the range is so exciting for me as an actor. I play Ava Sultani. She's um, an Iranian immigrant that lives in the United States for about 10 years. I'm a teacher, and I have the most adorable eight-year-old son named Sammy, and a relationship with a really special guy who's a cop, um, Ben, who's played by Gerard. And um, we all live in a building in New York, and there's a sense of a special community that um, everyone helps one another and together we uh, face challenges and, and help each other but also celebrate each other's joys. In the first episode um, I get arrested by ICE by immigration and they claim that my paperwork is not legal, basically that it's fake and we will learn whether it is fake or not and um, the consequences that an immigrant has to face when um, they might get deported out of the out of the United States after living here for 10 years and also giving birth to a child that was was born in the United States. So it's 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 a it's an incredible shock. Also because she feels so um, so at home, and to go back to where she's from is not an option because of the consequences she can have as a woman as a liberal woman as the woman that spoke against perhaps her government um, so this feels like the safest place to be in and uh, being taken away from it in the first episode is a, is a great shock. It feels so special to have um, a group of people from all walks of lives. Um, one is a nurse, another is a, an, an an intern in a law firm, one is a cop, and they are able to help each other with their expertise and experience, but truly it's because they all share this deep need to care. And it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful nod that holds us together as a community, as a society, and as a family, not related by blood. When I first read the script, the first page has a heart on it and it really beats in every page from every character. Um, in so many moments I say, oh, this is my aunt, this is my cousin, this is my friend, this is my mother. P portrayed by different characters. I mean, one character is battling cancer and sadly how many people do we know that have that experience and, and the choice whether she tells her loved ones or not or battle with it herself is, is, is a great challenge that I think touched everyone's lives. Um, and a young guy is trying to find his voice and is uh, going in, through law school and finding, finding his own voice, but he's supported by other people and the, supported by someone that is actually losing her voice. And that was a beautiful exchange. I had the scene with, um, with Gabe, who doesn't believe he has the power to help me. And it turns out that everybody does. It's just about believing in that and creating an opportunity for that to exist. 
it's a great script and a great story because all these characters are complex. They're beautiful, they're kind, they're compassionate, they're struggling, they're human. They're, they're actually really superheroes. This show is about a tapestry of people from all walks of lives, different ages, different backgrounds and different paths that find the courage to help one another without fears and prejudice. It's a, a group of individuals who have become a family over the years, whether it be having helped each other out or being there for each other, you know, they're all dealing with different things that people deal with every day. And they've become a close-knit group, a family. You know, they have a shorthand with each other. They know what they do. They help each other out with, sometimes it's menial things and sometimes it's life-altering things that they're there for. And that's, that's what really sets it up. It's this, it's this sense of community, this sense of caring, this sense of you're not alone. And for my character, for Nick coming into that, he is, feeling very isolated you know he's feeling like this is how he should deal with it on his own and these people through just being so welcoming and, and so thoughtful and, and they, they'll slowly start to pull him out of this shell and and introduce him to what is going to be you know his, his, his family you have uh, such a diverse group of people dealing with things that are you know, you, you don't want to use necessarily the term everyday, but they are things that a lot of people, they're going to resonate with people, whether it be um, a veteran, whether it be someone dealing with a medical issue, someone dealing with being a single mother, you know, someone dealing with any of these different things, and sometimes they're everyday things, but they're big to these people. You know, they're life-altering in some cases. They, they shape who they are, and it's this community, because that's what they are. They become this community, this family, they realize they're not going through it alone. They realize that someone's gonna be there and if they need help, they're gonna get help. And in my character's you know, situation, he's not used to that. And he struggles with help because he doesn't want to seem, sometimes when we want help, we feel weak. But what you learn in this community with this group is it doesn't make you weak, it makes you human. And they are able to help each other and, and lift each other up and be there for each other. And this is a, a new experience for him. And so, we see it through the different characters' eyes, and it's, it's a beautiful thing, the, the community and the coming together, and how, the, how they are there for each other. It's really, it's beautiful. I would say what drew me to the project was, was almost it on a whole, and I know that doesn't really give much away, but there's so many characters that are so fully realized and written so beautifully, and it touches on so many different parts of, of all of our lives, whether it be, like I said, someone dealing with a medical problem, veterans, all um, a single mom, you know, uh, some, it's just, it encapsulates so much and there's so much human spirit in it and so much fight in all of these characters and what they want to do that, you know, you're turning this and you're, you're there, you're with them because they're so fully realized, because they're so beautifully written. You, you know, when I was reading it, you, you're turning the page. You want to go on that journey, and I think that's what makes the show special, and hopefully makes it special, is because something about it, whether it be you're empathizing with it or whether you specifically know that thing, a lot of these journeys are really going to resonate with people. They're really going to hit home, and what we hope is by telling these stories that it takes you, you know, along with the journey. I think specifically after watching the pilot I think we hope you understand these characters a little bit and, and, and a lot of times it's just scratching the surface but they're so beautifully drawn out and so beautifully written that everyone's gonna know someone everyone's gonna whether they've been through it firsthand whether they have a friend or a family member that's done through you know gone through these different things something's gonna resonate and at the end of the pilot what I think I hope and what we all hope is that you're, you started out on a journey with these people and you want to keep going. You want to see them. And the, the beauty of it is every obstacle that comes their way, every thing that comes up, every moment they have that, that really hits, we want the audience to share in that and continue on with it. And, and I think that 
it's so beautifully written. The characters are so full and so drawn out that um, I think that's the hope at the end that you you're like, okay, I'm in and and I'm ready to see, you know, what's next, good or bad. I want to see what what happens. For me, I mean, what makes a great show is is characters, and the thing is, we want to go on a journey with people. We want to see them fight, you know, and, and even if it's they're at their lowest moment, we want to see people struggle and fight their way out of it. And I think we get that a lot, but you know, if you don't care about the characters, you can gloss it up, you can blow things up, you can make it the craziest visual in the world, but at the end of the day, if you don't care and you don't want to share in that journey with them, I think you lose an audience. You know, the, the viewing audience is so smart these days. They have so many options so many channels, so many shows that I think that if something doesn't grab them here, I mean, grab them and, and shake them and, and show them something, I, I, I think it's, it's difficult to hang on to, you know what I mean? And so I, I think that for me, when I watch a show, I want to get in there with the characters, I want to empathize, I want to see them struggle and fight, and then I want to see them continue their fight, good or bad, I want to see them, their ups and their downs, and you want to go on that journey with them. And if we can take people along, and bring them in and, and show them these snippets of these, li these people's lives and, and what they're going through and, and, and how much they care and how much they care for each other and this sense of community. I, I think that, um, I think hopefully we'll be in a good place. To work with someone like Mike, I mean, he, I was chatting with him the other day and the, the way he writes the duality of things, you know, and, and the ups and the downs of these, these human emotions and these people going through these journeys, I mean, it, it's a really beautiful thing, and yet it feels, you know, a pilot's an interesting thing, it's a first episode and we're meeting so many characters, but nothing feels forced, it, it's so fluid. And that's just, that's just a, a brilliant writer writing a beautiful story, and so, I mean, yeah, he's, he's the driving force that brought us all in here, the, uh, the genius behind this pilot, and, and, and he writes things with so much heart um, that you don't always see you know, nowadays, you know, I mean, there's, there's all sorts of different genres and things and everything has its place, but to have something with so much heart and such a sense of community um, in today, you know, in, in this world, it's, it's, it was such a beautiful thing and, and you are going to hear from a lot of different people how much it resonated with them, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. I, I couldn't be happier to be working with someone who, who, who writes that way with so much heart and so much thought, so it's great.